Okay, what's going on everyone? It's Chris here again with another Hurtastic Reviews. So today, what I want to talk about is that there's a Barnes & Noble Criterion sale right now and I don't have enough money to buy anything. Yeah, it's a Criterion Barnes & Noble sale. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I really wish I could pick up. There's a lot on my wish list. Um, but, you know, I started thinking a little bit more about how, you know, maybe I don't have enough money to buy some of these movies. Some of them were blind buys. I can certainly buy the Criterion uh, channel again and watch movies through there. But then I started thinking some more. What are some movies that are not in the Criterion collection that really deserve to be? Now, this list can be tricky. The reason for that being is that if you want to put something in the Criterion collection, there has to be really good reason, such as like out of prints. It could be like no Blu-ray transfer. Uh, it could be, uh, it could also be like a rights thing. It could be like a really bad Blu-ray put out, like bare bones. Um, or it could have a lot of strong significance. Um, for me, it's a little bit more of the availability of Blu-ray and out of print. Uh, and I think if a lot of movies have like a decent enough Blu-ray release, there's really not need for it to be on Criterion for right now. Like Do the Right Thing, for example, but that used to be a Criterion DVD, but now they had a Blu-ray, which wasn't that bad, and now they have a Criterion, which I'm probably gonna buy anyway. Double dipping is something I'm accustomed to. Dipping is definitely a, a concern. I definitely understand that people have. Uh, let's talk about some movies that we'd love to see in Criterion that, that seem like they have like no, uh, it doesn't seem like they're gonna come out in any kind of capacity, or if they're like out of print or something. And I only create, created three because there's only three in my collection I definitely want, and I feel like if I have at least a top three, I'd just be happy with it. So let's go ahead and get started. My number, uh, starting at number three of the three uh, criterions I want, I want movies I want to see on Criterion is uh, Thumb Sucker. Thumb Sucker came out in 2006 and it was directed by Walter Kern. I don't know much about his works, um, but it's a DVD. Uh, it's a blockbuster DVD I have here. Uh, I've seen this movie before and I absolutely loved it. It's about a high schooler who, th who sucks his thumb when he gets nervous around girls or just any sort of um, confrontation or difficulty. He sucks his thumb as a high schooler. That's what he does. Um, he's played by Lou Pucci. Um, who is in the movie Spring as well. He's very well. He does a really great job in that movie by uh, Moorhead and uh, Benson. It also stars Tilda Swinton, Vincent uh, Donofrio, and uh, Keanu Reeves, if you notice, and Vince Vaughn. This movie is a really great look at coming of age and like social anxiety and um, pharmaceuticals and just like broken families, awkward families, trying to get the families together basically. Uh, but Thumbsucker, I really enjoyed. Uh, it was a movie I'd been wanting to watch for a very long time. This was the movie next to uh, Squid and the Whale. When I was growing up, I saw both back-to-back -back trailers in whatever movie I owned and said, I need to see those movies. When I'm older, I want to see these movies. Uh, Squid and the Whale was the first Criterion I ever bought. I loved that movie to death. And then Thumbsucker was one I never thought I'd ever see again until I found it on DVD uh, at Entertainment Mart. Picked it up for two bucks. Uh, DVD's fine. Um, the only reason I have it here is because it's only on DVD. Uh, so a coming-of-age movie that's quirky, it has really great acting in it, uh, very well directed, uh, a great story. Um, I think it has a recipe for something on the Criterion of sorts, I think. Um, I, I think maybe it doesn't highlight a director of some sort, but I think it's like a very well-constructed story. And it's only on DVD. So why not put it on the Criterion Blu-ray? I think it'd be a very good fit with like the coming-of-age films like Days and Confused. Uh, Squid and the Whale and such like that. And I mean, Francis has another one with Noah Baumbach. So um, I would definitely think this movie should deserve to be on that list. My second um, is a Blu-ray that's out of print. I was so lucky to have this movie and to find it. Um, and that is uh, George A. Romero's uh, Dawn of the Dead. This movie really needs to have some sort of updated Blu-ray release. I mean, the, the Blu-ray is fine. I've watched it before on here. Um, but it's so bare bones. It is so bare bones. And uh, I think the movie of this caliber deserves to have some sort of amazing put out. And I know the, the rights for it and everything is the difficulty. But if Criterion could somehow wrap their hands around this, it would be awesome. Not only because it, it needs to have a better updated release, but they also did Night of the Living Dead already uh, and saved it. But it was in the public domain. Uh, but now this movie is uh, very hard to find. It's a very hard Blu-ray. Um, but if it, it came out on Criterion, they could double pack that with Night of the Living Dead and that would be awesome. Instead of Night, Night of the Living Dead having those crazy like FYE packages that are super expensive and stuff like that. And I already know that Day of the Dead already has a Scream Factory release. 
So that already has a special print out as well. So you could just get that and it would look sweet with your other two. That's what I plan on doing um, with this now being owned and I'll get Night of the Living Dead, Day of the Dead later. That would be awesome to have this. This has so much to say about commercialism, consumerism. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a well-made movie too. And, and it's like one of those must watches before you die. And having it next to Night of the Living Dead would be tremendous. So to see this on the criteria would mean a lot. Uh, my final one, it, I, I've talked about this movie multiple times, countless times, because I absolutely love it. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, it's a shame that's only on DVD based on the director and the star caliber. Obviously, that is Billy Wilder's 1945 Best Picture winner, The Lost Weekend, starring Ray Milland and Jane Wyman. Wy Wy Come on, this movie has to be in Criterion. They've done like 40s uh, films such as uh, My Girl, His Girl Friday, uh, Delphia Story. Um, this it's not a Howard Hawk film, I know, but it's a it's a Billy Wilder film, and I mean Billy Wilder has seen so many great movies come out, and they usually get the standard Blu-ray. They don't have a lot of great putouts. I mean, other than maybe Arrow Academy's Apartment. Um, you know, that's the only special collection I've really ever seen. But obviously, Ace in the Hole is in the collection, which is a tremendous film. So why not put The Lost Weekend in there? Um, this movie won Best Picture, so it has that caliber. It's an amazing picture about alcoholism, um, so that it definitely stands out amongst the 1940s films. Um, I could think of so many ways of why they could put this movie on the Criterion channel. And if, if Criterion, if you for some reason are watching her Tastic Reviews, please, I mean... Sign me up. I will. I will construct the cover for this film. I will put. I try to work hard to get the special features on there. Uh, I, I just want the transfer to, to, to move up to. It's just it's just such an amazing movie with a lot to say for its time from one of the best directors and screenwriters of all time. And um, I there's no reason for it not to be only on DVD. There simply is no reason for it. I know there's like a a region locked Blu-ray release in the UK, but I mean, come on. This needs to be on Criterion. But those are my top three. Uh, during this Criterion season, I like to think about the what ifs and why nots. And I think this uh, these three films definitely uh, capt captivate what what the Criterion channel is and like what kind of films we as you know based on subscribers of this uh, uh, boutique label what we want and what we expect from the channel. So if we can get some. Um, some of these movies in there, I think that would make the, the, the collection so much more richer. Um, I mean, we're almost at Spine 1000. I mean, I wouldn't get mad if The Lost Weekend was Spine number 1000. I know the masses want uh, Citizen Kane is 1000, which I kind of don't agree with because there's already a Blu-ray for it. I know it's considered one of the best movies of all time. But I mean, something like The Lost Weekend, I mean, that's one of the best movies I think I've, I've ever made. And I, even though I haven't seen Citizen Kane, I feel like that is more deserving. I would love to see a Godzilla box set is spine number 1,000 as well. That would be tremendous. That would be huge. So Criterion, if you're listening and watching this, uh, I'll probably tweet about it later. And if you want to hear about more of my rants and my thoughts and opinions, you should check out my Twitter. Maybe, uh, you know, follow. I'll give a follow back. Uh, check out my uh, letterbox as well. I'll put that down in the link below. But uh, other than that, that's uh, been Hurtastic Reviews Top 3 uh, Must Want Criterions. Or movies that I want on Criterion, I should say. Uh, but, you know, thank you all for watching. You know what it's like here. I say a few things about movies, give some thoughts and opinions. But most, most of all, I want to know what you're thinking. What are some of the movies that you want to see on the Criterion channel? Or Criterion uh, collection, excuse me. Um, it, are they out of print? Are they DVDs that I don't have a Blu-ray transfer? Or are they maybe even Blu-rays? That's totally fine, too. I just want to know what you are thinking and maybe what you'd like to see. Um, other than that, thank you all for watching. If you haven't checked out my buddy Daniel's Cobwebs uh, podcast, I'm going to put another link of that down below. Check it out. Check out Film Stock with Chris Bowie, too. It's really great. Check out Nathan Jones' channel as well. I'm sure he's going to put out another video soon. Uh, but other than that, I, I'm Chris here with Hurtastic Reviews, and I'll see you next time.